Fresh apples will only keep for a certain amount of time. These Golden Delicious have now been in storage here in the playhouse where they're keeping pretty cool, but it's still a little bit of moisture because it's outside. The major issue is that they are stored in a box and they would keep probably longer on trays, but I only have the boxes and so that's limiting them. And you'll see they're now getting blemishes on the skin and if I don't do something with them and process them now, they're not going to last much longer. I'm going to lose a lot of them. I mean, there's already been a little bit of loss, but there would be the whole lot would go rotten if I don't process them. Now, we use two methods to process our apples and to keep them long term. The first one is to dry them. Now, I have a previous video from last winter of drying apples, so I'll put a link to that if you want to go and look at that. But the other method that we use is to bottle them or as they call it in some countries, can them, using the Fowler's Vicola method. Now, the way we do this is very similar to any other fruit, but for anybody that wants to know, and I've had a few questions about apples and how to bottle apples, we'll go into the kitchen and I'll show you how we do it. For the first stage of the process, is to peel and core the apples. Now our goal is to simply preserve these apples and give them a longer shelf life so that we can continue using them throughout the year. So the object is to put as many apples into as few bottles as possible. This process of peeling and core them, coring them can be rather tedious and time consuming and you wish you could make it go a lot faster. Of course, this is video and we can make it go a lot faster. You wish that you really could do it this fast, but it just doesn't happen that way. You simply have to spend the time to do it, but the end result is worthwhile. Once the pot is full, it's time to give them all a good rinse. Now it is possible to bottle apples raw without pre-cooking them. But my experience is that you would need to add a lot of water, juice or syrup because there seems to be a lot of trapped air in raw apples and if you have a lot of apple it leaves a lot of air in the bottle later. So I find it better to at least partially pre-cook them. And then to put a little bit of water into the apples. This is filtered water I'm adding but only sufficient to stop them burning. Just a small amount in the bottom. And then I put them on to cook while the apples are cooking. It's the opportunity to prepare the bottles. Now one of the things I like about the Vicola system is that bottles don't need to be sterilized. They simply need to be given a good wash and rinse. And once that is done, then you're able to put the rings on. Now putting the rings on is probably the trickier part of the process. It's important to make sure that they are even all the way around but it isn't that difficult, particularly if the bottles are still damp. Now the apples will need a stir from time to time, particularly when you've got a pot this full. It doesn't take long for them to start to cook, so just keep coming back and checking them. And this is about the stage where they are ready. You don't need them fully cooked, just partially cooked. So that Some will be more cooked than others naturally but then there will still be some that are raw, but the majority will have some cooking at least. This is an example of it close up. Now it is time to put them in the bottles and usually start with some juicy stuff first and then it's important to get the air out. Now I have a special tool that I've made for this purpose. Uh, you could use other things but just getting the air out is very important. You want as little trapped air in the app as possible. Once the jar is full, Giving it a tap is another way of getting some air out. It's really important to get that air out of the jar. And 
then it's just a matter of putting the lid on and some clips. Now I, by habit, tend to use two clips for cola. Say only one is necessary, but it's my habit to use two. It ensures that they are pressed down tightly when they come out. So once they're in there, it's a matter of filling it with water and lighting it up. Now it takes a while to come up to temperature. Once it's reached 92 degrees Celsius, that's 198 Fahrenheit, time to set the timer to 45 minutes and to turn down the gas to keep it at a stable temperature. Once the time is passed, then it's time to get them out quickly, turn them off and remove the bottles. Now you need to be careful because they are very very hot. I use a tool that goes underneath the clips and means that I can safely lift, lift them out without them slipping or any danger of them dropping. They then need to sit to cool once they have cooled, you will sometimes notice a little air trapped in them. Preserving apples this way in bottles, we can keep them long term and are able to continue to enjoy them for breakfasts and crumbles and all that type of thing.